What's up guys, Nick here. I'm coming at you with a useful tip on how to draw in the tempo track in Studio One. So, let's dive right in and let's make it happen. So let's open up the tempo track right here, this little uh, clock uh, icon, open tempo track. And let's expand this, so it takes up our whole window. Let's close this so we got nothing distracting us. All right, so when we go to draw a tempo change, we only get this square, so we can only draw in one tempo change, which is all right, but if you want to make some gradual tempo changes, you got to draw, draw each one in manually, and that will just get annoying and take a long time, and that's not very productive. But there is a way to actually draw lines in Studio One here in the tempo track. So like if you try to go and use the line tool to draw, it, does, it doesn't work, right? I'm sure you've tried it and you probably got frustrated and you're like, what the heck, why can't I draw like lines to uh, make a gradual tempo change uh, in my tempo track? Well, you actually can. So actually it doesn't matter which one of these paint tools you have, they all work the same. Uh, for this method. So we have the paint tool selected here and I have the help bar open here and I want you to look at the health bar or the help bar sorry when I click and drag to make a tempo change. Up in the help bar you see alt create steps. So if you actually hold alt what we're going to get is a line that we're able to draw. You see that? We're able to draw a line now. And now we're able to have a tempo, a gradual tempo change to our target tempo. So we're starting at around, what is this, like 104 something. And we're going to end at, let's uh, end at around, whatever, 120. There. So now we have a gradual tempo change that goes to our grid size. So every quarter note the tempo increases a bit. I'll zoom in here on the grid and you can see here every quarter note 15, 15.2, 15.3, 15.4 you see uh, it increases in tempo gradually by, by minute uh, amounts. So that is great. So let's get rid of that. So what we can do is we can actually change the size of our grid to control the resolution of our tempo changes. So let's say you want uh, the tempo to go up every uh, bar from one tempo to another. Well, you can draw that in re really easily. So we set that here to 1, 1, the quantize. And now we just draw in our tempo, right? We, we click, we hold Alt, and let's go to around 120 again. Close enough. So now if I zoom in, you see 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And you can see the tempo changing here. Every bar going up gradually from 103 up to 120. So that is a really handy way to draw in tempo changes here into Studio One. So then you can change this resolution up to 164. So now Oh, let's get rid of this. Now let's draw in a tempo change. So let's go. So let's get the line tool selected. All right. Uh, draw in a tempo change. Draw in a tempo change. There we go. Let's go up to around 120. There we go. Now let me zoom in. Let me zoom in. And then you can see that we have our tempo changing. Let me select these. You can see the tempo is, you see how many steps there are here. And it's slowly going up. Well, we have just a long tempo change, so. And there's a ton of steps, so you have a lot of control over how gradual or how 
abrupt, you want the tempo change to happen as well uh, by using the uh, the tempo uh, by changing the grid size here under the quantize uh, bar right over here. So that is a very handy method. The only the only thing that I think is kind of annoying is that when you get really close to this line, um, it wants to you want it wants you to drag it. So that's kind of annoying. So you kind of got to do a little bit of manual editing um, with the start point of uh, your tempo changes when you're drawing them in. But aside from that, uh, this gives you a lot more control over drawing tempo changes in the tempo track in your studio. So remember to hit the Alt key when you want to draw in an actual line to tempo change that. That, that is a really useful uh, feature. I don't. I think a lot of people uh, don't realize that you're able to do that in Studio One, and I think you'll probably use that a lot because it's really handy. You can do some really cool sudden effects by doing gradual uh, or abrupt tempo changes in your track. So I hope you found that trick. Uh, useful. Please like and subscribe. I will see you again soon in the next video. Take care.